As you're working on a typical project, uh, you may find that uh, the first uh, pass of your project, you might be just kind of roughing things in, getting things in place uh, so that you can kind of get a feel for how the whole big picture is going to look. And then as you continue to work with your project, you uh, maybe on the second pass want to start fine-tuning your edits and uh, trimming your video, uh, making fine adjustments uh, to the audio and video uh, so that it goes better with your narrative. And uh, Edius gives you a number of tools that you can use to help facilitate uh, these tasks. Let's open up our video. And uh, throughout these tutorials, you've probably seen us going ahead and uh, making these trim motions and movements. For example, if as we played this clip here, uh, we decided that <clears throat> maybe we want to see that transition a little bit more, well, we can go ahead and grab a hold of either end of that transition and drag it out. And uh, that would be trimming your transition. After the morning sugar has been processed, my next job is to cook lunch with and uh, if we decided that we wanted to take and see just a little bit more of Vani chopping up uh, the uh, fish there before she starts scaling it, we could just point uh, to the very center portion uh, or the division between the two clips. And uh, when you see the uh, one end light up with a yellow mark and uh, the other with a green, you'll know that uh, you can then go and point right to the center of it and you'll see your cursor kind of shows up with a little uh, left and right arrow button there and when you see that you know you're good to go you can just click down in that area and start sliding left or right and you'll see that as you go to the right you'll see more of the first clip and less of the second clip or if we preferred we could go the other way and so we can make a very nice uh, fine tune adjustment as we're playing uh, through our timeline so that the clips go better either with the descriptive narrative, the voiceover, uh, or perhaps cut better to the music. Processed. My next job is to cook lunch for the family. My mom has taught me how to clean fish, chop the vegetables, and cook rice. Okay, let's maybe go ahead a little bit in the video. Uh, we've got a shot here of Vani uh, going to school. And uh, as we look at this, if we should decide that uh, maybe we want to see Vani riding her bicycle into her uh, school yard a little bit better. For example, if we double click on the clip itself, we can bring the whole clip up into the play window and uh, take a closer look at the video and we see her actually riding her bike right into her uh, schoolroom. And uh, so if we decided that we want to see more of her entering the uh, classroom itself, uh, well, one way, of course, is you could go ahead and delete the video that's there and, and go find a new in and out point that you like, maybe starting right about there, and, uh, and then just, uh, you know, do a three-point style edit there to replace the clip. Okay. However, uh, Edius has what's called a trim mode that you can go into that will help facilitate these trim functions, making your trimming tasks uh, a little bit more efficient. Uh, you know, another way was what we could do is just kind of drag this up here and, uh, you know, s slide this across so that we are picking her up uh, further in, you know, sliding it out so that, uh, you know, we get our new endpoint ready and then drag it down and then slide it across. But uh, we see that uh, that still doesn't quite do it, and so we have to grab the end of it again and pick her up a little bit sooner and then drag that across. Well, you can see that this can be very tedious and time-consuming. And uh, so let's just undo that and show you this trim mode that Edius provides us with. And uh, how you get into the trim mode is with the F6 button. And you'll see that your uh, windows, uh, your preview windows change here with different types of information and different buttons available down here. And uh, actually, uh, Edius gives us a variety of different types of trimming that you can do. Uh, one is kind of a rolling trim. And if we click on that, 
and with our mouse pointing to the clip, uh, roll it back and forth. We'll see that we're actually rolling the whole clip, but we're not changing, changing the clip itself. We're not changing the in point or out point of the clip itself. So, so that's not the type of trim that we're hoping for or looking for, um, but it's nice to know that you actually can do that, that you can move a whole clip uh, either direction uh, this way, and that one is called the rolling trim. The one that we're actually looking for is the slip trim. So let's select that and uh, again point to our clip. Make sure that both the audio and the video are selected. Otherwise, as you uh, make your slip trim, your audio will go out of sync with your video. So make sure they're both selected and that you've got your uh, highlighted areas here, the green, the yellow. Uh, and then either down here in the timeline, go ahead and just, just point to your clip and start sliding it back and forth. And as you slide it to the left, you'll see that we're moving further into the clip. And uh, if you want to get a better reference for what your in and out uh, points are going to look like, you can go up to your preview windows. And uh, in the second window, you'll see the first clip that's going to show. And also the last clip that's going to show it shows in the third window there. And so if we want to see her actually riding through the gate, we need to pick it up about there. Another way that you can do this is just point uh, your mouse up into the preview windows itself. You'll see that your cursor turns into kind of a roller bar there. And now as you roll back and forth, left and right, you'll see that you're uh, performing the same task there. You're uh, moving the clip internally and picking new in and out points as you go. Okay. All right, so that's the slip trim, and that's the one that I use the most just to make a, a fine tune adjustment to an individual clip, changing usually uh, one point on the clip. Uh, there's There might be some bad camera motion that you notice right at the very beginning of the clip that just goes maybe three or four frames, and you, and you want to very quickly make that uh, change, get rid of the bump, or the, or the bad motion, or actually change the action itself. Okay, so that's the slip trim. Uh, what else have we got here? We've got a trim mode slide. Let's point to that and see what happens there. Looks like that's going to just move one end of our clip. And if we decide that we want to move the other end, we can just point to it. And now we're just moving the other end. Okay, and uh, nice thing about uh, trim mode in version 6, if you've been using this in previous versions, I believe what you had to do every time that you wanted to use this is you had to get out of it, find your new clip that you wanted to affect, point to it, and then get back into the trim mode in order for it to work. But uh, here in version 6, they've apparently worked on it some and made some improvements and now it's just staying in your trim mode you can uh, just point to any clip and start working with it. And I don't believe you were able to work with it right on the timeline before. I think that's new as well. I think you had to work uh, just up here in the preview windows with your roller bar but now you're able to actually use the slip trim mode right down on the timeline itself. Let's see uh, what else we have here. We have uh, just trim our out point. Just trim uh, an, in, an in point, I'm guessing. Okay, and uh, you can also step forward one frame at a time, 10 frames at a time. And uh, so it's good to get to know uh, this tool. There's a lot of... Uh, step saving uh, actions that you can make uh, with this tool. There's a, a large section in the manual that you can review uh, that uh, describe all of the various ways that you can use this uh, trim mode of EDIUS. And uh, when you're finished trimming, you can either go up here to the X and click on that to get out of the trim mode, or you can just also hit the F6 again and you're back to normal editing. Okay, so that's it for trimming your video.